So what I want to do here is I want to show you the size of my NBA 2K18. Now, I need to note a couple things here. For starters, right now it says 36.6 gigabytes. This is insane to me because I've been playing this game since launch uh, of the digital version without any need for 36.6. This literally was 26 gigabytes before I started this update. So that means right now I am downloading a 10.6 gigabyte update. In fact, let me show you that I'm downloading it. If you look at it, look at that. There it is. It's downloading right now. And we're just going to sit here and watch this download for a little bit. Or maybe for the entirety of this, just to show how ridiculous this is. This was never noted to us back when the game came out that there was going to be an update this large. And why is this update coming out? What even is this update? That's a very good question. So let's see if we can figure out by looking at what this giant update that was not needed until the physical version came out is that's leading to things like a 24 gigabyte download. So here's what I found. There is a patch, or at least was a patch. I assume this is the patch. If that, if, I'll find out once the version number updates here because, God, it's not going to update before I'm done recording. Uh, patch 1.04. It's a humongous update and addresses gameplay, cap, neighborhood, and more. I, I'm using a 32 gigabyte internal storage card. I figured that was enough. I can put, throw all the patches and updates on the internal stuff. And right now, my internal is about to get completely maxed out with this update. So if a future update comes out that's just as big, I'm screwed. I have to completely uninstall the game and buy a new micro SD card. So let's just get into the patch notes here and... Again, this patch was said it was coming soon. This was reported like days ago. Now it, it, it's apparently here. Uh, it says, so in general, the classic edition uniforms for the Bucks, Hornets, Lakers, and Suns have been added to the game. Look for these to be released in the next roster update. Interesting. So they're adding uniforms in this patch that isn't part of a roster update. So they're already in the game, so why can't we just have them? All right, five new shoes have been added to the game. I won't go over all of those. And again, it says to be released in the next roster update. Again, they're adding content to the game that's locked behind a roster update. I don't get this. Um, improvements to the Caps as a lab user interface. New cap facial hair. 18 new beards. Two mustaches. Introducing eight facial stub styles that can be mixed and matched with various hairstyles. A whole bunch of stuff here. It, it fixes to the Pro-Am. Fixes to my team. My, you know, my GM. My league. Uh, a whole bunch of a whole bunch of fixes. In fact, I'm actually interested. I'm going to go through the My League stuff because I'm actually curious if they fixed the one bug I always ran into. Satisfy a popular community request. The NBA logo has been removed from the created uniform template. Oh, cool. The CPU will no longer override user-made decisions. Uh, CPU teams will now be more conscious of when they should renounce the rights to their players during the offseason. Fixed a hang that would occur for some users when they were signed a two-way player. Uh, fixed a soft hang during the draft. And uh, Okay. All right. I, I actually, I experienced that bug one time, but it's not something because it, it only happened once. Um, I didn't think much of it. Addressed a fantasy draft issue where certain players were being incorrectly omitted from the selected player pool. Fixed a case where incorrectly determining that the user was trying to maintain the rights to too many draft and stash players. Uh, addressed a case where the draft and stash player would appear in the G League roster. Uh, prior to signing the contract, identifying a corrected issue that would lead to inability to load your MyGM file. That's a big bug. I haven't had that happen to me, but I've seen other people it's happened to. Um, for those affected by this, your save will now properly load. That's huge. So you can get your save back. Baskets will now count for the correct amount of points when the league approves the rule change that grants automatic points to be granted on shooting fouls. That's awesome. Um, that, that, that doesn't actually exist in the NBA, but anyways, attendance will no longer show 0% for playoff games in a financial information menu. That would suck. Yeah, no one attended your playoff game. <laughs> Many other bug fixes and adjustments were also made game-wide. Um, and it goes over just a, a handful of more adjustments. So it's a big update. I'm not going to sit there and say, like, this is a huge update. The, the fact that they had so much stuff to fix lets you know how buggy this game was at launch, how much it did not get the proper quality testing it needed before it went out. But even despite all that, even going through all of this stuff, a 10.6 gigabyte update? Are you kidding me? I played NBA 2K17 and never once experienced a 10.6 gigabyte update. I think the biggest update was like a 2 point something gigabyte update. And I was actually prepared to have maybe 10 gigabytes total for the entire season, including roster updates and all that. But 
we're talking 10.6 gigabytes the day, same day the Switch physical version releases, which cannot be a coincidence, especially now that we have an updated download, uh, you know, 24 gigabyte download statement on the North American version, which wasn't present on the European version because they probably sent those out before they realized they were going to have this update. I, I'm just at a loss for words right now. I don't know what they are doing. And on top of this now, we know obviously WWE 2K18 is probably going to require a micro SD card as well. Uh, we know that, that the file size on that is like 36 gigabytes right now. Uh, granted, they're just talking about the digital version. They have not confirmed the physical version will need a micro SD card. But if NBA 2K18 does, you can almost assuredly bet that WWE 2K18 will as well. And for all the flack that I gave... Uh, 2K over this decision about not using the bigger cards and requiring these downloads. Uh, I, man, 10.6 gigabyte update that I'm still downloading, not even halfway through as I'm recording this. I, this is just insane to me that they're getting away with this right now. If this is what's going to happen, I might have to buy a 200 plus gig SD card, micro SD card, just to play NBA 2K18 because I'm going to need that amount of space for the dang updates. This could be a 200 gigabyte game. Now, I don't think they're actually going to have a zillion 10 gigabyte updates. I know I'm over exaggerating, but I'm doing it to make a point. A 10.6 gigabyte update should be unacceptable. There's a reason that Nintendo has, has uh, uh, file size limits on updates. And while some games, uh, I understand, like you basically are re downloading the whole game. But when you do that, it usually replaces the file you have, so you don't end up with a file that's twice the size, right? When you guys, when you finally got the update to go through for NBA Playgrounds, and you downloaded what was almost an essentially brand new NBA Playgrounds game, it replaced the file that you originally had for NBA Playgrounds. So you went from like seven gigs down to four gigs on NBA Playgrounds. So yes, you needed that four gigs free with the seven gigs initially, but once it downloaded, it replaced that file. Uh, that's not happening here. From what I have seen from people reporting, what we're now seeing on box art, it's going to be 36.6 gigs, and it's going to keep getting bigger from there. Uh, we talked, we could give all the props in the world for cutting the size of this game to what they did on Switch because it, it is like 50 gigs or whatever on other systems. But it sounds like if this keeps going, we're going to end up getting up to 50 gigs or more ourselves on Switch, which is just unacceptable for a game that runs at 720p, so you're not even running full 1080p assets, and for a game that's got the settings dialed back the way it is. They don't need the super highest quality assets possible here on this game so i'm just i'm at a loss for words that they're they released a patch today that is almost half the size of the game that we had installed anyways and it, it's not optional i'm required to download it if you have the digital version no idea if it's required for physical i'm just oh man i might rate i might rate because for all all the the praise i've given nba 2k18 uh and the devs behind what they've done and all the flack i've given it as well for being disappointed with the final product I'm, I still play this a lot. It is one of my most played games on Switch. And to see this treatment, to see this, this mistreatment, really, of Switch users by thinking that a 10.6 gigabyte update is acceptable. And I'm not just saying this because I only have a 32 gigabyte card in my system. I can go, you know, I can get a bigger micro SD card. That's not the problem. It's, I shouldn't need one. <laughs> Literally. I mean, let's, let's just glance at this. Let's go back and look at the storage situation quick. So when you go into my data management and you go to my managed software, you'll see now, look at that. Look how much space. I have a 32 gigabyte micro SD card and then I have all that internal memory space. Look how much of that is taken up by NBA 2K18. The closest is Splatoon 2. You got Double Dragon. And I understand this is a AAA third party game, so it's going to be big. And some of this comes back to the decision that they did not include uh, or give us a big enough physical cart. But I, this is, I, I'm just at a loss, loss for words. I mean, <laughs> look at that. So here we go. 22.9 gigabytes was the original file. You could see that right there. So you see that there's 13.6 on the Switch. So the 22.9 gigs was the original download file for NBA 2K18. So when it launched, it was 23 gigabytes essentially. And then there was a little bit, you know, like 5 gigs, I think, set aside on my system memory for save files. And now 13.6, uh, this is just, mm, this is ridiculous. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, maybe I'm blowing this out of proportion. Maybe you guys don't think it's a big deal. But I, 
sincerely am worried about third and and I understand cartridges and limited space and you can blame Nintendo. Uh, realities of AAA gaming, it's going to be huge file sizes, blah 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 blah. Uh, and maybe I should be mad at Nintendo uh, for not allowing these the, the higher size carts. Uh, but I'm sorry, this is an update. This game was running perfectly fine uh, at 26 gigs. This update. I wonder how many users out there have 32 gigabyte cards like me um, are going to not be able to download this update and not be able to play NBA 2K18 until they go spend more money. <sighs> and on top of this, they have press releases for the physical version that said, oh, it's going to be, t- be about 15 gigabytes for download. Now imagine you go buy the physical version and find out, no, it's not 15, it's 24. Oh, man. They're really duping us. 2K... I was trying to give you lots of props earlier this year over giving us a more complete game uh, that's at a higher visual quality than, say, FIFA 18 and EA. But you know what? You're really undercutting things here and making me question whether or not it's worth you bringing 2K19 to the platform. And I'm not saying that there aren't people that aren't going to want it. I'm going to want NBA 2K19. But this, you can't be doing this. You can't be breaking... Like we have limited space, you can't do this. And I understand. I, I should be mad at Nintendo for that limited space, and I am. But uh, come on, at least you know maybe this could have been prevented if they would have at least warned us. If they had warned us that this patch, this one point zero four patch, was going to be ten gigs. If they had given us weeks worth of warning, which they had to have had to put it on the box in North America. Anyways, folks. Let me know what you think about this whole thing down in the comments below. I promise I don't just want to talk about NBA 2K18 all the time, but they're not really giving me much of a choice. I am Nathaniel Ruffle Dance from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more content, and I will catch you in the next one.